So now we will go for the next application which is nothing but ground state of helium. So physical application of variation method. So of course helium, um, helium atom consists of two hydrogen atoms combined together. So we have two hydrogen atoms which is nothing but your helium. So we use the various method with a simple trial wave function to obtain an upper limit for the energy of the ground state of the helium atom. We know already about this. The helium atom consists of two electrons. So we have two hydrogen atoms combined together as I said. So we have two electrons and a nucleus having two protons and two neutrons in the helium atom. So owing to the screening of these two attraction of any one electron to the nucleus by the other electron, the nuclear charge is exactly given by 2E. So this is the picture of uh, your uh, helium atom. So you have a nucleus. Okay, this is one electron and this will be another electron. So this is one hydrogen atom, this is another hydrogen atom, something like that. Okay, so this is screened with another electron. So one electron is screened with another electron. The distance between these two, first electron will be your R1 with the nucleus. The distance between these two will be your R2. Now we have minus E and minus E. Okay, so there will be repulsive force. Okay, electron electron will repel. So there will be interaction energy. Interaction will be there. The answer will be your plus E. Minus E multiplied by minus E will be your plus E. Interaction energy. When you are going to add these two energy, these two energy, surely the total energy will increase. So that's the idea. So you have, you have the separate hydrogen atom. You have the separate hydrogen atom. The moment when you are going to include the interaction energy, okay, this inter interaction energy will be plus value. Then the total system, the energy of the total system will increase. So very very important. So the helium atom consists of a nucleus of charge plus two e and two electrons of each charge minus e as shown in the figure. If we consider the nucleus at rest, it is convenient to write the Hamiltonian H1, H2, and V12. V12 stands for the interaction energy between these two electrons. Okay. Now. As I said, the total system can be written as H1 plus H2 plus V12. So this is for H12, this is for H2 and this is for V12. So this is for the single hydrogen atom. This is for another single hydrogen atom. The interaction energy is nothing but given by plus E squared minus E multiplied by minus E. So that will be plus E squared by R12. Okay. So now as we said that for Z for helium will be 2. Z for hydrogen atom will be 1. So Z for helium atom will be 2. So we have written 2E squared by R1. Here also we have written minus 2E squared by R2. Is it okay? Now of course del1 and del2 are Laplacian operators which we know already. Okay. Now here R12 is a distance between R1 and R2. Mod with a mod. It is a distance between two electrons. So there is no analytical solution to the above equation because the two electrons correlate in the electron term repulsion term. We want to apart. Now, the wave function, we are going to guess the wave function. As I said, for variation method, we are going to guess the trial wave function. Okay. So, guessing the trial wave function, already we guessed earlier. For the hydrogen atom, we already guessed. So, this is for the hydrogen atom. Okay. For the first electron. And similarly, you can go for the second electron. The same equation, you can go for the second electron. Multiply these two will give you complete equation. We are going to guess the equation for the helium atom. So helium atom consists of two hydrogen atoms. That is the that is the equation that that is a wave function that we already guessed. So multiply these two will give you this. Okay. So this will be the complete wave equation for for helium atom for two electrons. Where alpha is a variation parameter. So you have alpha is a variation parameter. Now and of course we know this one. What is this one? So normalization constant. Okay, phi star phi d tau 1 d tau 2 which is equal to 1. So we have d tau 1. d tau 1 stands for dx1, dy1, dz1. d tau 2 stands for dx2, dy2, dz2. So we have 6 coordinate system. Very difficult to solve. Look at this one. We have 6 coordinates. 6 coordinate system. Okay. So this will be your, as usual, this will be your a variation principle. So Hamiltonian uh, sandwich between your phi and phi star. Okay. So Hamiltonian consists of as as I said Hamiltonian which is nothing but kinetic energy and potential energy 
and of course you are going to use the variation parameter take take the numerator first first we will go for the numerator so you will have whole those terms your h will be h1 plus h2 plus b12 so this will be h1 this will be your h2 this will be your b12 is it okay and we are going to separate into three terms okay three terms this is for h1 take this this one and this one h1 this is for h2 and this is for b12 separately we have taken look at the wave function h1 goes only with the phi1 wave function h2 goes with only the phi2 wave function whereas b12 goes with the two wave functions so there will be correlation correlation between these two wave functions so b12 b h2 and h1 is it okay very simple one now separately we are going to solve when you are going to solve separately this is for the kinetic energy kinetic energy part so this is for the h1 hamiltonian so kinetic energy part so this will be for the kinetic kinetic energy part for the second electron the answer will be the same for both the things alpha squared e squared by 2a not is it okay kinetic energy for the first one which you have already learned from hydrogen atom so answer was alpha squared e squared by 2a not similarly hydrogen atom for the second electron again the answer will be the same and this will be the potential energy for the first hydrogen atom okay potential energy for the second hydrogen atom the answer will be the same minus 2 alpha e squared by a not is it okay now the very tedious will be interaction energy so this will be e squared by r12 as i said we will have to integration we will have to go with d tau 1 d tau 2 six coordinates very important very 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 difficult the answer that you are going to obtain as pi by 8 alpha e squared by a not so your total hamiltonian will be kinetic energy of the first one kinetic energy of the second one potential energy of the first one first atom potential energy of the hyd second hydrogen atom then interaction energy you just add these two all the thing so you will get exactly this expression so adding these two will give you this adding these two will give you this expression and 5 by 8 alpha e squared by a not you pull common terms out e squared by alpha not you have alpha squared minus 4 alpha plus pi alpha by 8 which is nothing but your total hamiltonian total hamiltonian okay so now you are going to differentiate with respect to alpha minimize the hamiltonian minimize the hamiltonian alpha so dh by d alpha which is equal to zero we will have to differentiate so that is the equation when you are going to differentiate this equation that will give you 2 alpha minus 4 plus pi by 8 correct we are going to differentiate with respect to alpha will give you this expression so simplifying this which is equal to zero simplifying this that will give you alpha equals 27 by 16 so we have found out now alpha substitute in h minimum substitute we have found out now alpha substitute in that h minimum which is equal to e squared by alpha not alpha squared minus 4 alpha plus pi alpha by 8 you substitute the value for alpha here you will get exactly equation 4.14 Okay, alpha squared will be 27 by 16 squared minus 4 alpha plus 5 by 8 multiplied by alpha. You simplify, you will get h will be minus 2.8 by e squared by a naught. So okay, a naught. Now by variation method we have found out this one. We are going to compare, and by perturbation method the answer will be minus 2.7 by e squared by a naught. The answer for the two system. The experimental value is nothing but minus 2.0 e squared by a naught. Which value is closer to the experimental value? So here you have minus 2.8 pi. Here you have minus 2.7 pi. The actual energy is minus 2.90. So which value is very closer? This value is closer. Okay, that should be say that this is closer to the variation method. So variation method is a better method than the perturbation method. That's all we can say. So we can come to. So this is the way our guest wave function is correct so very important thing is the guest guest wave function so you have to guess proper wave function and get the answer that answer should be very closer to the uh, the ground state energy uh, from the experimental idea okay so that is the answer thank you students